So this is the global, right? Then you have a national. And there's just a couple of things I want to say about national strategies that are not very important for Americans, that are, but that are very important for Europeans. And I, I don't know one will watch this video, like American or European, but you know, like, I wouldn't feel right in my heart if I didn't do this. Okay, so national strategy. Okay, so once you understand the global structure, you have to understand your country's place in the global structure. So that's a, a national conversation of a country with itself, okay? And each country is different. I'm not going to give a recipe because there isn't. But there are a couple of things I wanted to say. Uh, first thing is like, okay, like there's a huge difference. Okay, um, America, the US, because you are so much more conservative, I'm gonna go ahead and call you retarded. I'm really sorry, don't want to offend your little hearts, but that's the truth. Um, because we, you are so much more right-wing uh, than the left, your guys on the left actually have a plan and a strategy for what has to be done in America. And it's pretty clear-cut, and I'm with Michael Moore all the way, and with David, and, you know, I just, there is no doubt on my mind that that is what you have to do. We in Europe, we have a, a problem. Uh, we in Europe, we have a crisis. Uh, we have a huge crisis. We are completely lost, okay? Because there, there are two kinds of lefts uh, in Europe. So the first kind, which is a fucking... Um, it's a disease and it should be eradicated. <laughs> yeah, like, it's horrible. I hate it. I hate it so much. Uh, which is the um, dated left. So, um, dated, you have all your Marxist, communist, neo communist, like, uh, all you, you motherfuckers, okay? All you 17, 89, 1848, uh, 1968 motherfuckers uh, who are you know then, then this this is the big problem uh, we're talking about like okay we're, we're talking about excuse me many leftists in Portugal we're talking about basically all the French and German and to some extent uh, British left all of them okay completely dated okay so these are people they, they are they are educated they are informed they are, you know, sophisticated and snob and elitist, and um, they are from the left, and they are good people, okay? My grandfather, he was a communist. My grandfather was basically the m best human being. The, okay, I'm, I'm getting excited, but it's true. He was basically the best human being I have ever seen or interacted with in my life, communist. Um, wasting all that life and all of that intelligence and all of that energy and all of that knowledge, really, and ability, and just life, you know, on completely dated uh, leftist beliefs. Um, they're dated. This is not... This is globalization time, baby. This is the fucking 21st century. The issues have changed. The unions do not represent me. Oh, oh, and I look so ugly in this video. I do. But, well, um, you know, let me, you know, the, yes, the, this is what I want to say. That, um, we have all these leftists, you know, communists, and, and not only communists, you have all these leftists that they are just, even if you're not communist, even if you just, you know, support general strikes and think that, you know, reforms on education are horrible and uh, you know and reforms in the labor system are fascist uh, you know you are fucking dated you know I don't I don't want to be mean but um, that's what they are they are dated and they do not offer any kind but not one what not not one okay not one solution to the problems we have today okay <sighs> So, and we have the second kind of intelligent left that we're going to talk about later, but well, just uh, something I, I really want to say. We in Europe, we need a strategy for the left, okay? Um, for, uh, in the European level, okay? And for many of the national countries, like Portugal has 
a, a rational leftist um, strategy, and it is enormously blessed uh, to have it. France does not. Uh, Germany does not. Um, Belgium probably has not. And all other countries, um, Britain is... Uh, Cameron is in the house, I mean, uh, okay, so, um, and this is a huge problem, and we need a strategy, all these countries need a strategy, they need a national strategy, but I, I only want to say two things about uh, this strategy, uh, first thing, the, the EU, the European Union, will be a central part of the strategy, and second, uh, we need to think out of the box, I'm really sorry, um, I cannot tell you how many times I have been called fascist by lefty French, French just because I didn't agree that, you know, unions and general strikes and, uh, you know, not wanting to be fired when you're like 25 and, you know, all other ridiculous, really ridiculous questions. So th this is a huge problem, okay? Okay, so we have this first left, which is the ma the great majority of the left in Europe, we're talking about like 90% of the left in Europe is this kind of dated, old, no solution whatsoever, fucking crisis left, okay? And then you have the rational and intelligent left, which is the most advanced left in the world. Uh, and what happens to this left? It is despised by the leftists themselves. And now I know this happens in Spain too, but I, I don't follow Spanish politics, I don't. Um, because I don't, uh, so I cannot, whatever. And I'm sure this happens in many other places that I don't know of, but I'm going to go ahead and quote Portugal again, because I do know Portugal very well. Um, so, um, in Portugal what happened was that in 2005, um, um, a brilliant man, uh, rational, uh, humil uh, not only rational and intelligent, and a man with a vision for the future, and um, just civilized person, but also someone with guts, uh, was, he was elected for Prime Minister of Portugal, uh, with a great majority because the right wing, whatever. And, uh, okay, and what he did, he did what no one had done in this country since 1755. He actually began to implement reforms that could actually save this country from itself. Okay, He made reforms in the educational system, in the health system, in the justice system, uh, which are three sectors of uh, Portuguese life that if I begin to tell you like, okay, it's not, like, not, in, like, there is no health care in, in, in America, and everyone in Europe understands that this is fucking retarded. Most Americans don't understand this. In Europe, in Portugal, for example, but there are many examples of this, France, what have you, all of them, okay? We have huge problems in Europe right now. And in Portugal, we have, like, our justice system, you know, that people can go to prison without being accused of anything. Let that sink in, okay? You go to prison, and then the police has two years, I kid you not, two years to decide what you're accused of. I'm not kidding. This is, this is the system. And everyone, uh, you know, thinks it's normal. It's just, just, you know, fuck it. It's not a problem, you know. You know what is a problem? Freedom of speech is a problem. Oh yeah, you know. I, sorry, I don't. It's just mm. okay. And so what happened was that this guy, this Socrates, he started making you know real reforms uh, on real um, on things that really uh, had great potential to really make the life of Portuguese people better, basically, and you know better better people, more intelligent, more educated, with better health, and with the right to justice. Have you ever thought about that? I, I, okay. And what happened was that these reforms uh, pissed off very much, you know, the 1% of the very rich, and the corporatist, the corporatist uh, son of a bitches that we have uh, an inheritance from the fascism, fascist times. 
And uh, these motherfuckers uh, basically have like 90% of the money and the power in Portugal, as happens everywhere else. Uh, and so they control the media, as happens everywhere else. And what happened was that they basically succeeded uh, in making everyone in Portugal, but I'm talking about everyone. Again, we are not stupid people, okay? This is very important to stress. We are not stupid people. We are not particularly mis uneducated. We are not particularly anything. Okay? Um, we are just normal thinking people and many of us are, are very, very smart. And everyone, let me repeat this, everyone hates Socrates. Everyone has been brainwashed to hate that man. Everyone. And the left, the extreme left, they were the worst of all. And, and don't even get me started about the fucking uh, left block like the most pathetic guys on the face of the earth <sighs> but well anyway okay so yes so this is my point um i could you know like this is my point uh, wh where there is a rational uh, left in any form on government form or you know some leader or some you know some kind of dynamic uh the media immediately uh, and Oh my God! So effectively uh, brainwashes everyone to hate that left and to think that they are bad people and doing bad things. And they do this by the man. Okay, I, I could make a video exclusively on how the media manipulates, like the 300 techniques they have. One day, maybe if I have the patience, I'll do that. Because it's it's really stupid techniques if you think about it. You just have to watch them with enough attention uh, you just have to, to watch watch and think and analyze every single thing and you will get every sleazy little fucking trick those motherfuckers use to brainwash you and me and our kids and our kids kids and our kids 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 and oh okay so we need a revolution in Europe